So hello everyone and welcome again to another video. Um, today's video I'm going to show you how I made 3D text that I used on my home store last videos. Um, so yeah, let's, I'll just show you that. It's pretty quick, it's pretty simple, you don't need to do so many things in it. Um, it's a really easy process, so yeah, I'll just start that. So let's go to Roblox Studio and let's open a base plate. So I'll show you two ways. One of them are pretty easy to use. One of them are a bit, are a bit like, uh, I guess I'll say harder, even though it's really, really not. But uh, yeah, so the first thing, the first way is basically go to plugins and then I use a plugin that I, that called um, 3D Text Maker, 3D Text Maker, 3D Text Maker. This, it's not the official one, but I also, um, also have that. Um, that's basically the two plugins that I use to create the 3D um, text. It's basically really, really easy to use. Just go and open the plugin. You need to um, apply a part to the base plate and choose the part. Okay, yeah. So now when you chose the, when you chose the part, go to start and let's tape the text and then change it. Uh, leave it on the right. You can um, choose the direction. I will leave it on the X. You can choose a font. My favorite font is two again. I think I guess. And I'll recommend you to reduce the letter space because five it's really really big so I'll usually go I usually go on two um and basically now you can see that up and the group and you have text um each letter is another you know you know this thing um and you can customize the uh, material and you can customize the color but the only problem with it is that there are only three fonts and I don't really like the fact that they are only three fonts. So I guess there I like there is another way to make 3D text uh, which is a bit longer and I think I, I it I think it's the best way to do that because then you have more um options for fonts or stuff, so I really recommend. So let me just close the Roblox because we don't need that. So go to the Google and then search for the website the font. I will leave it um, a link down in the description. And here you can choose whatever whatever font you would like the your sign to be. So you can go literally each page and cho choose your fonts. I have full folder full folders with fonts. I have so many of them. And every time I need a new one, I it's really easy. Really, it's it's really easy. I just go and install one that I really like. Um. Then next, then go to another website and search for Blender. I guess some of you did heard about this um program. I really really recommend if you want to make a GFX or some um, something, just install Blender. I use the 2.82. You can use the 2.83, which is the newest version. Um, it's not really a big difference, not now, like what I'm gonna do, I think, if I remember right, it's the same thing between the Blender um, 2.82 and 2.83, so just install whatever version you want, and so um, after that, open Blender and just delete the cube, the default cube, and then go to Shift A, select the text, and I'll just leave it a text, but you can just um, retext that by clicking tab on your keyboard and just, you know, um, retype that. Then go to geometry and then go to fonts and go to um, regular, choose the folder and choose whatever font that you would like to use. I'll choose this font for this tutorial. And then I will go to Geometry, Extrude, and I'll make it a bit bigger, like about, I guess. And if you will see that, okay. So sometimes you do a problem when you export that to Roblox. Okay, go to Export, Export FBX, and let's go. Um, let's make the name. Okay, you know what? I don't care. And export as FBX, and then go to Workspace. Uh, mesh part, um, the mesh part, 
go here and hope for good. Okay, so then it will have this message, the map. This message, the mesh you are importing is very large. Will you like to resize the mesh? Just yes. Um, here you can choose yes or no. I don't really care. Like I usually do whatever I want to, so I don't see any difference between them. So um, feel free to do whatever you like. And then you have the text right here on your um, workspace. So you can resize that pretty easily. And and I think yeah, you can. Of course it like that and yeah basically that's it um now you obviously you can um change the color and the material so let me just i'll show you things that i really like to do with the text So yeah, I guess that's basically the tutorial. It's really really easy to make. Um, I leave a link to the um, 3D Text Maker um, plugin in the description. If you would like to use them, I leave the font. Um, I leave a link to the other font. I leave a link to literally each thing I used in this tutorial. You can just go and click right below this video. I hope it was helpful because I saw a lot of you asked for that. So yeah, I will. I hope it was helpful, and I guess I'll see you next time. Um, until then, I'll say goodbye.